Hello there, Eric here again. And today we're going to introduce a tool to you to help you create websites very quickly and easily. And it's part of the Google suite of applications and it's called Google Sites. More accurately, the new Google Sites. So this video is going to introduce to you the tool and help get you started using Google Sites. All right, so let's get started. Google Sites is part of the Google Apps Suite. So if you've logged into Google, you can see what Google Apps are available to you. And if you're logged into Google or not, you can tell if you're logged in by your icon being up in the top corner here. And I'm now logged into my university's account, right? If I go back over to Google itself, you can see that I'm also logged in under my personal account. So you can see, as long as you're logged in, you can see what apps are available. So what apps you have, you can, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can go to apps.google.com and you can see a list of big icons here of apps that are available to you. Or you can log into any of these, perhaps mail.google.com or docdrive.google.com and you can see this apps icon up in the top right corner. If you click on that, you can see what apps Google Apps are available to you, which Sites is one of them here we're going to be using today, Sites. Um, <clears throat> different people have different uh, apps that are loaded into their Google account. So I have different ones loaded into my Google account. So um, to get to Google Sites, you can go, you can find out what apps you have. Most everyone does have Sites available. If you don't, you'll have to maybe ask your system administrator or um, log in to a different account to get access to sites. But most people have access to these basic um, Google apps. So you can either click on Google Sites from here or from here, or you can just simply type in sites.google.com. And it will all take you to the same place. So <clears throat> this is very important point, very important. So Google Sites is a bit old. And in the last year or two, Google has made a new Google Sites. And this is the one that I will be introducing. And um, as old Google Sites, you can still use them. I do not recommend right now creating websites in the old version because Google will start to slowly close out these websites as the new system gets introduced. So very important, you're going to want to go to new Google Sites. And as soon as you've done that, you can see you're in sites.google.com slash new. You're in the new Google Sites. And in this screen here should show you a list of websites that you've already created. And you know you're in Google Sites by this icon up in the top left corner. All right, And you can go back to your other um, apps as well, classic sites, but we're in new sites, right? So I have no sites we're here. We're going to create one in a minute, but just to let you know what that might look like, I'm going to switch accounts really quick to my personal account and show you what um, it might look like if you have this populated with other um, websites. So these are a bunch of websites that I've already created for different purposes. Let's take a look at one, right? So. Uh, here is 
a website created to show a augmented reality application I've created called orientation. It's going to load it up. And this is a already created site. You can see I've added some pictures, wrote some comments in here. I have a menu and um, you can see that there's pages that you can uh, navigate to and from and then you can preview what that might look like on the web. We're going to go through what all of that means in just a second here. But first, let's go back to the blank account, which most of you will be looking at, and create your first site. So most of you, when you log in, you will see nothing here. No, you have no sites that you've created yet. So you'll say click the plus to create your new site. And the plus is just right down here in the bottom right corner. You click plus very quickly, very easily. A new site is being populated. And all right, already we have a blank website for you to start editing. Uh, you can take a tour too. Um, it'll it'll show you around how to make. Um, it'll show you around the user interface, but we're going to skip this for now. You can do that on your own at a later point because I'm going to show you what we have. So first thing that you might want to do is to name your site. I'm going to name it my name. You might want to name it, if you're making a student portfolio, you might na name it your st student number. It can be anything. So I'll just call it my new site. There it is. Now it's already got my name. You can add a logo later. I'll show you how to do that later. And it all this page has is a, what's called a header. This is to, to let users know the what's on this page. It's like a, a, a title of the page. So I'll just say my new site, right? And all I already, I'll just click away from that and it's already edited. Now, when I click inside of here, I, you can see a few options, right? You can change the text, title, heading, subheading, small or normal text. Normal text makes it small again, but since this is the title of the page, we'll make it big by saying it's a title. You can also justify it left, right, center, or stretched. We'll keep it in the center. You can make, this allows you to put a link into it, and link it to another website or another page inside your Google site or you can delete it as well. <coughs> but this is blank. And we'll take a look around the user interface, right? So here is your home. You can go back to the home to see your other websites. This is the title of the website you are currently working on. This is a, but a couple of buttons for you to help um, edit your site. Uh, it says undo your last option. So the last thing that you edited and go back and re-edit it. This is preview. So you can preview the website as it might look. Now you have a couple of options here. This is called a responsive website. That means it changes shape depending on the screen you're looking at. So many of you will look at it, it's something like your mobile device or an iPhone. And you can see what it looks like. You notice how new site the, it got moved over to the next line and a tablet also looks a little bit bigger but now the site has been moved up to here because now there's more space and this is how it would look like on a laptop or a, a large screen but there's nothing else on our website yet we'll have to add things 
as we go along, right? So we want to add things and we can do things using this pane on the right side. So you can insert new things, you can add and manage pages, and you can change the theme. Let's just go through those one by one. So insert, main options here are text, image, drive, embed. Text is very simple. You just click on text and it automatically gives you a text box here in the center to add new text. This is my new Google site. I just added text. You can add an image. You can either upload one or select one that's already on your Google Drive. So let's upload something. This is from a game I played recently. Let's see here. Something semi-interesting. There it is, already in my website. Now you can also uh, select from the web. Now you can go by URL or search. Let's search for me. Right. Hmm. Nothing came up really. But anyway, we just go select that picture and it automatically appears. Embed is when you want to embed other websites by URL. You can just put URL. Let's see, let's put in my website. You can use this when you have other websites or parts of websites that you want to add to your to this website. And then, of course, from Drive. So if you're logged into Google, you have lots of assets in your Drive, perhaps images or slides or Google Docs, and you can add those uh, at will. Let's just add some document, perhaps. So student registration form and that added that right in there as well. So now we have some text, some pictures, and some and uh, some interactive materials already on our um, page. Now you can add some other things here too, like a button, a divider, YouTube calendar. We'll go into these a little later in other videos. Let's see what that looks like now. I got my new site. This is how it looks. Let's see how it looks on an iPhone. Now you notice that the pictures have now cascaded down to be on top of each other to fit into the screen. The tablet looks a little bit different. Back to a PC. And there you go. Now, one other interesting thing about this is it's very easy to move things around. So as soon as you have your icon turn into a four arrow, you can move it around to other things. And images, you can do this as well. You hover over an image and you want to move this here and you have these guidelines for which to move things around. If you click on images, you can stretch them. You can move them around. I just uncropped it to make it cropped. So if you want to crop it again, just to make it shorter, I'm just doing that again. I'm moving the edges of the image around to fit the screen. Move the text around again. It's a very, very intuitive system. Now, you have some new layouts here that you, you could use as well. Let's say I want to add a picture and some text. And so this gives you a template from which to add content as well. Very convenient. So you can just add a picture or a YouTube video to here and then just talk about it. This I'm going to talk about whatever you want to add as well in, in that section. 
<clears throat> so after you've added all your content and you're happy with it, you preview it, then you're going to want to either sh publish it or share it with others. And when you go to publish it, you will choose a web address, my new site, and how you want people to view it. In this case, I'm logged into my university account, and anyone logged in to the university account can see it. Um, if you're using a personal account, you can have the option to share it with everyone or uh, just people that have the link as like an unlisted YouTube, and then you publish it. And as soon as you publish it, it's available to everyone that you chose. You, know, you can also have people work on your website with you with this share button. So now you can add people's email addresses and those people will be able to edit, collaborate with you in making your Google site. <clears throat> Next, over on the pages here, we have pages. So now you can add sub pages to your homepage. Just down here with the um, new page again. What do you want to name it? A new page. Now we have started a new page under home. So this is in. So now we have the option. To, we have two pages basically, and we can add content again to that. Let's add another one. A another page. Now we have three. Now we can arrange these in any way we want. We can move them around. Now I've just clicked it and dragged it into a new page and now it's become a sub page under a new page. Right? We can organize our pages um, in a cascading kind of hierarchical fashion which makes it very convenient if we especially if we have a lot of pages so now we have you do this in the same fashion after you've added your pages you go ahead and you have to republish your site again next we have themes now Google Sites makes the design of home pages very easy. So all you have to do is select a template, a theme, and a color, and your basically your design is finished for you. So I can choose this um, theme and then maybe a blue color, and there you go. We're back to simple, what we started with. Maybe a different color. Go back, let's try another one. Different color again. A bunch of different options. Now you can go in and edit these pages individually again, but this template, these themes, make it very easy to make a page very quickly. So after you added your content, your pages, then you'll be able to preview it. Uh, maybe ask some people to collaborate with you in making your site, and when you're done, you can publish it or republish it after you've made changes. This has been Eric for Together Learning, showing you an introduction to Google Sites. I hope you have fun creating new sites, and I hope that you share what you make with us. Bye-bye. <coughs>